According to the information we got from the bandits, the entrance to the room...
Is this the arithmometer?
fighter at the end.
Reminds me of the old days, fighting together. for rebirth. Wandering around here and interrupting my precious sleep. You lost or something? Just looking for a story. I hear that you once had big dreams of striking it rich. <sighs> Whatever dreams I had have been lost under the sands. Then why stay? Why stick it out in the desert? I owe it to my wife. She's gone now, but the one thing she valued more than her own life is still out there in that desert. If I could just get it back. I'd be gone from here and never look back. What could be so important? Her arithmometer. And back when she was alive, back when we still had our shop, my wife was in charge of keeping the books. And I never was good at numbers. But my wife, Monica, she lived by that arithmometer. We're gonna have great sales this month. Next month will be the one for us. Plugging numbers into that silly thing of hers. All with the most joyous smile you've ever seen. Hmm. That smile of hers. That was my real treasure. And then one day those monsters stole my treasure away from me. 
Everything ended. My business. My life. I lost Monica. And her smile. Now the only wares I have to sell to anyone are regret and despair. I see. I'm sorry. Do you really think you'll be able to move on if you find your wife's memento, though? Sure as the desert's dry. If I could just find that arithmometer for her, I'd be done with this place in a heartbeat. Light, do you think that's the arithmometer? This it is my wife's. I'd know it anywhere. The arithmometer that she so loved. You've got your wife's memento back, so... Now you can leave the desert any time you want, isn't that right? Like I've got any place else to go. Anyway, it would have been better if you'd just never found it. I want to say goodbye to the desert where my wife died. But I don't want to leave the desert where she lived. Don't you see? <laughs> now what am I supposed to do? That's up to you. And if you can't figure it out yourself, well... Then why don't you just think about what your wife would have wanted for you? What Monica would have wanted... ...is she always wanted me to make it out here as a merchant. Me and my shop. She wanted to help me achieve my dream of striking it rich. I guess you have your answer. If you're going back into business, how about I be your first customer? Yeah. I'd like that. After all... ...I owe you. You brought me back. You brought our dream back to life. Little Sandbird told me what you've been up to. You've been busy, haven't you? But is it true? Is old Ramon open for business again? All I did was help him get back onto his feet. Helping him at all is more than enough. The world's a pretty hard place to live in these days. You don't see a lot of people helping each other out. <sighs> if there were more good eggs like you around, maybe this place wouldn't have ended up the ghost town that it is. Someone's got to be the first to start. Why not you? What? <laughs> Because I'm a ruthless, greedy salesman. I don't do a thing if there's no profit in it. Are you sure? For someone who claims to be a ruthless salesman, you look pretty happy to hear about your rival's return. Th that's ridiculous. He'll be out of business again in a week, I'll bet. If he does manage to cut it somehow, a competitor might help me stay on my toes. I'll say this, my wares and my service will both be better than ever. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Don't let me down now. What? 
show of it. to let loose, Lightning. God, it's been ages since I've had some fun. Let's make this worth it. Fang, there's one thing I need to know. Why would you want to summon the souls of the dead? What exactly are you planning on doing with the Clavis? Me? I'm not the one who wants the damn thing. I wouldn't even know what to do with it. It's Vanille who needs it. For some reason, when we woke up from the crystal, she picked up some strange new ability. Now she hears the voices of the dead. She says she can pick up on all the feelings of those souls that are trapped in the chaos. According to her, it's like listening to a thousand different voices all crying out at once. And she's the only one who can hear them. Or something. And that power is exactly why the Order became interested in her. If Vanille gets that Holy Clevis, and she uses it, she should be able to call all those souls to her. 
So the Order plans to gather all the souls of the dead? Why? To save them? Come on, it's me you're talking to. No need to play stupid. You ought to know. You're here under their orders, aren't you? High and mighty savior. I wouldn't assume anything if I were you. I'm not here for the Order. It seems like you don't see eye to eye with them, though. Care to share? <laughs> That's a story for later. Come on, we're wasting time we don't have. If the Secutors snatch up the Clavis first, I'd never forgive myself. There's a place I want to check out first. A door. It's got something good behind it. Or I'm not a bandit. I'm thinking that maybe a savior can get it open. Let's go see what you... You can do.